Timing is inconvenient. Years of work building up. This is a lot of blood. Someone was bound and tortured here in front of the statue. By the signs, they were cut up badly, then dragged outside. It must have been the poor acolyte. There was no one else here. Why did they do this? Greek god where an Egyptian god once stood. This would make some in Egypt very angry. Someone has smeared the god with green paint. The head has also been covered. Wait, something else is up there. His face is hidden and defaced with more green paint. The green mask of Wajet has been placed here. Wajet is goddess protector of Upper and Lower Egypt. Someone is making a clear statement. But how did they get up here carrying all of this? Amun. This is written in blood. It is still wet. Murderers are going to kill the high priest next. We have to find him. The Lakitai should know where he is. Felakitai, I found the cultist message. They're going to kill your high priest next. The high priest? Thy Serapis, no. Karani's spirit will die if he does. We need to find him. Where is he? Think, Felakitai. His villa is nearby. I know of a spot overlooking it from a safe distance. This way. We can see the whole area from the temple wall. Your temple is the reason for this trouble. It is a bitterness for the locals. <laughs> That's absurd. It has increased industry and trade. <gasps> Everyone has benefited. <clears throat> Your dead acolyte and high priest may not agree. Shout if you see anything. Anything at all. Good. Gods, the trouble I'll get if the High Priest lies dead. We must hurry.
Sacrifice me. You are safe now. It is fortunate you are not at the temple. You would already be dead. Serapis! They would have butchered me! These Egyptians are prayerless demons and not men! It was an Egyptian who saved you, priest. Remember that when you pray and give thanks. We Medjai protect all, regardless of their class. I came as soon as the fighting began. I see I am too late. Thank you for your help, Magi. It certainly made my work here easier. You have interesting timing. What do you know of these bandits? Egyptians unhappy with the Greeks here. Who knows what holes they crawl from. Seeing a Greek god in place of their own incensed them, no doubt. Understandably. You have not seen the last of such trouble, I think. The Ptolemies tend to divide us at times. Sadly, I agree. Greece has brought Egypt much wealth, yet some resist all progress. This depends on your idea of progress. Progress for Egypt or for Greece. Farewell, Philakitai. Next time you protect, remember my code. Stealing from a god is the gravest of blasphemy. No punishment is too great for such a transgression. Golden statue of Sobek, beautifully made, just as the boy said it would be.
golden statue of Sobek. It is beautiful. The boy tells the truth. I should return these gold Sobeks to that odious priest. My need is great. Sobek is swift to judge the profaners. Priest, I have your precious golden Sobeks. The novice spoke the truth. This useless boy has been constant trouble. Many more punishments await him for his carelessness. Your piece clothing is just a mask for cowardice! God, the gods I hate masks. This has nothing to do with you, Saheti. Crawl back into your desert hole! I am Medjai, you dishonorable dog. I have the authority here, Medjai. Your authority is removed from your mask, please. <laughs> May you walk in the land of the Duat. Keep the up with the This is not the enemy. I will push up. monster will flee Memphis. I am Medjai, you dishonorable dog! I have the authority here, uh, Medjai. Guards! Your authority is removed with your mask, priest. May you walk in the land of the Duat. Why now? There is no 
I should be cautious around here. What do I do now? The temple will not accept me. Sobek has left the fate of this gold with you. You can return to the temple or to your family. The choice is yours. May Sobek be with you. Whatever you do, do it honorably. Egypt needs priests who do not wear masks. Oh! <laughs> Haggle, neighbor? Thank you kindly. Keep well, my friend. Why are you burning the dead? Don't you fear the gods? Their souls will be forever cursed. I'm sorry to do it, but I have no choice in this. The gods themselves have afflicted us with a pestilence. The dead must be burned to save the living. What pestilence? Is there a plague? Truly, I don't know. Elders have begun falling sick. Children have died clutching their bellies in agony as their parents watch on, lifeless in their beds. This would be cruel. Even for the angriest of gods. No one cares about us. Any help would be appreciated. In the Fayum, the poor aren't worth spit. My children, your hunger is known. Turn to Another Sobek for your nourishment. His family will now lose their land. They These used to eat at the arms kitchen in the market. The but soldiers began eating? harassing them. Greek they merchants the said they were bad somewhere. for business. I should have a look around. There are no signs of a plague on the body. contain strong seasonings. This food is rancid. It smells like shit. It's completely unfit for eating. 
This gruel is not fit for rats, let alone people. The strong spices are not for taste. They are disguising the rot. I need to talk with whoever made it. Sobek has provided a way. Though the food is humble, it gives life. <gasps> eat with thanksgiving. Tell me about the food you eat. Where does it come from? A merchant makes it for the poor here. It's not much, but at least it's something. We're thankful. You're welcome to try some. By the gods, no. I do not know how you stomach it. I need to talk to the merchant. Where can I find him? His house is to the south of the town market. I can take you. Let's visit this merchant of yours. I will follow you. May Sobek reward you for helping. I've passed many prosperous farms. People here seem to be doing well. Why are there so many poor? Ah, oh, yes. Those are Greek farms. The Greeks pay lower taxes, so they prosper. Meanwhile, the Egyptian farmers are slowly forced from their lands. What happens to the land when the farmers leave? Once the owners die, by law the land is freed. If it's good land, the Greeks take it. If not, the desert takes it. Either way, Egyptians are left to starve. Many end up in the slums. This is the home of the merchant who provides the food. Even the cats here look better fed than the poor. The owner is obviously of substance. Not all Egyptians seem to be equal. Some are just more equal than others. This is awful! No wonder people are falling sick. Who would do this? It is time we met this poisonous merchant. Give him a taste of his own cooking. How may I help you? This is my home. Are you lost? You can explain to me why you have been poisoning the poor. My guess is so you can take their land. It is easier if they are dead. You're referring to the trouble in the slums? Whatever you've heard, I assure you, you misunderstand. I do what I can to help. I have seen your kitchen, merchant. I know what you are doing. And I will see that you are brought to justice. Oh, I see. Well, that changes things. Now, you're trespassing. And I have the right to protect myself. Men! If you were reasonable, I wouldn't have to do this. Merchant of death was murdering the poor for their land. His love of money was their real sickness. Fayum won't miss him. The dead can rest. There will be no more burning.